Um, today we're going to cover the Groovy 101. What is Groovy? It's compact syntax and dynamic def. And maybe do some list and map definitions. So, first of all, what is Groovy? Groovy is a JVM language, which means it's a language that runs on the Java JVM. And it's very close in syntax to Java. So if you're familiar with Java, you'll have an easy time learning Groovy. Um, and also you have the whole JDK available to you as well. Uh, the compact syntax um, has a lot of things like um, optional semicolons and it's dynamic by default but it has optionally static definitions as well. So dynamic means that you don't have to define for example that this is a string and you can assign any value to a variable if it's defined using the def keyword. So this is the Groovy console and you just hit Control R to run it. And in this case I have a variable called str and I assign it foo and print that. And this might get something more interesting like you know, smog. Okay, and that prints that out and I can assign it a value as well uh, as a number and I'll print that out and let's say we want to figure out what class this is so let's go ahead and say get class on here you can see that in fact this is a string and integer and the compact syntax um, that there's a lot of things that go into that one of them is you notice you don't need any semicolons uh, you can put them there if you want. Um, another thing is, of course, the statically typing. That saves you a lot of time and syntax. And things are public by default. So let's make a class. I'll make a dragon class. So let's make a new dragon. And let's give it a name. So I'll define as a string. And let's try to assign the name. Now, one of the things that Groovy does, it automatically gives you setters and getters for all your classes. So I can immediately assign this using just the dot name syntax. And uh, it's assuming that you want it to be publicly available and the other thing Groovy does is that um, you can access bean properties using the dot notation so here you can assign it this way and you can also access variable or properties that way as well uh, one of the other things that Groovy does is very simple list definitions and map definitions. So I can make a list of things just using brackets and put the values in there immediately. And a map definition is also very simple using a colon definition. And it assumes by default that your keys are strings so you can even omit the actual quotes around the keys in this case and let's see if that's right so I would say key set another way um, another thing they add is they add a bunch of methods that are helpful for iterating collections um, so the each method here is one of those Let's say key, and I just want to print out the keys class. So let's do that. Oops, forgot to print. Okay, so you can see there's strings. Now, if you wanted to define um, actual variables and have those be the keys, you'd have to use parentheses. So it's possible you would just do it this way. So let's say foo and var are these variables and then I'll just surround them with parentheses to see if that works. 
なんかで鈴井発風運動あるもんな。Another thing you gotta watch out for is because、oh、wait, let's back up. Uh, another helpful thing they allow you to do is you can access、uh, keys of a map using the dot notation as well. So if I wanted to say map.foo, that accesses the foo key in this case. And dot bar would access the bar key. So to make that more simple, let's replace those. This to clarify what I'm doing there. And if it's missing a key, of course, you just get a null. And that's it for today. See you next time.